And let me also show you, um, walk you through an actual experiment, for example, the Bell's inequality. And um, I do all the steps required, except the adjustment of the optical setup, which I've done before, and which I will cover in an extra video. Um, so in the beginning for the experiment, we of course need the, the polarizers. And uh, as I said before, I have the motorized version. So uh, I just screw the polarizers mounted into the rotation mounts into the beam paths over here. Just secure them tightly with a screw. And um, after that, the control unit will control the motor driver, which is connected to the motors, to, to set all the different uh, 16 different angle settings that we need to measure the Bell's inequality. In this case, it's the CHSH equality. Um, so I'll switch on the laser, just turn it all the way up over here. And um, we can see in the count rate tab uh, that this corresponds now to approximately 6,000 coincidences per second, uh, which is the green line. I can also switch off the other ones, so we only see the green curve. Um, and um, all of these coincidences means that uh, those are detected at the same time in both detectors, and that's exactly what we need for the Bell's inequality later on. So all I have to do now is switch to the application tab. We have opened the respective tab for the Bell's inequality already, I can set the integration time, it's set by default to one second, just press start and uh, the motors will automatically turn to the 16 different angle settings that we need for this experiment and uh, measure the coincidence count rate at each angle setting. And uh, after that, the uh, S value, the, the result of the Bell's inequality will be automatically calculated and uh, displayed in the display. Of course, if you have the manual version, you can also use the display and you can just um, set your polarizers manually and then press to the respective setting on the display and it will also measure uh, the setting and at the end, if you have measured all 16 of them, it will uh, display you the result. And of course, also there's a, a very nice worksheet that you can use or that you can give out to students where you can fill in everything and just calculate it by yourself. And um, so the experiment finished already, and we see here we have an S value of 2.61 at the moment with a standard deviation of 0.013, which means that we violate the Bell's inequality, so we um, are above the classical threshold that is possible with classical mechanics um, uh, of over 45 standard deviations right now. Uh, thank you for watching, and um, if you need any more information, you can contact QTools anytime, and uh, see you later.